What up, morning guys? Welcome to today. Today is Sunday, and today is gonna be a Sunday. It's late. I have been taking a while getting ready this morning. I've been uh, doing all my comments, all my YouTube stuff. I've been getting ready for the day. I got my riding hair on. Oh, we're oh she's got it. it. She just got that cricket. We're gonna leave this one in because crickets come out of it. I wouldn't. Out of it. Okay, so basically, it is feeding time at the zoo, and we have to take we have to take all of her stuff out of her enclosure so that she can find crickets because our baby bearded dragon is a wimp. Lazy. She's a lazy wimp. Well, she's not a wimp. Okay, feed her a um, a, a so worm I'm gonna first. Hold her, and you're gonna take that one out. All right. All right. This is her first. Wax worm, and she knows it's a wax worm. If you saw the other day, our little girl does not like wax worms. She's a picky girl. Even though it's morning and she's starving. Look at that tail. <laughs> she's hungry. She will not eat a wax worm to save her life. We should go put those in the fridge. I did not buy enough crickets. <laughs> Essentially, Buying crickets is the hardest thing, trying to figure it out. I knew I didn't buy enough crickets, but if I buy too many crickets, then they all die. <laughs> oh my goodness, one landed on her. Get off, because they bite. They bite her. I Ooh. All right, so now that she's got the crickets in there, she's gonna let her decide to eat. She's not gonna eat. Oh, there she goes. She's about to do it. Maybe not. She wants to. What, you cricket? You. Get a big one that you can smush so you. that it's not so big for her. You! It was hard to get the right size of crickets for her, too. Sophie. I did choose one. I can't hold it. I broke the tweezers, so now we have to just only use these tweezers. Come on, little girl, have breakfast. And there she goes. You're too big. Yeah, he's too big. I like to hear the crunch of their bones. <laughs> Sophie likes to hear the crunch of their bones. Oh, chew it good. Don't choke. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today's going to be a big one. I want to tell you guys a quick story before we get started. Um, actually, I think you guys are going to be shook at what I'm doing today. You're going to be shook. So basically, hopefully I'm not betraying any confidence, but basically I got a message from a lady today, this amazing accomplished woman that owns a riding school and teaches lessons and drives horses and is just this amazing riding woman. And she had an accident, like a horrible accident, way worse than what happened to me when I shattered my pelvis. And so I was talking to her today and she was telling me how even though she has, even though she is an accomplished horsewoman, she's terrified. You guys, she's terrified and she can't bring herself to get back up on that horse. And she does still ride sometimes, but she's paralyzed in fear every time she does. This amazing, accomplished woman that has ridden her whole entire life. Yeah, though, so. So I was thinking that as a society, we don't like to talk about fear. We don't like to admit to fear. We don't like to even be near the whole word fear because all of us are afraid. And if we're not afraid, we're like this far from being afraid at any given moment and the sport that we do is a fear-based sport like and we as women we get up there and we ride horses that have a mind of their own that any number of things could happen at any given moment and our world could come crashing down so i just feel really sad that as equestrians we choose to refuse to admit that we're scared we refuse to admit that people can feel scared we i feel sad that as equestrians we as a whole have decided have chosen to not admit to fear not believe in fear not acknowledge fear and i know that for many of us it's because we're so close to being afraid that it could just be admitting it that could tip us over but i feel like we as equestrian women should support each other in the fear i feel like we should talk about it we should own up to it we should show each other because it's in getting past fears that we grow and we change all right sylvia what do you got to say um since like gino's tall and i'm scared that if i fall off of him i'll get hurt badly yeah because he's far i'm yeah. afraid that it's like you're in the air for Two hours. Yeah, that's what it was like when I fell off Stella, man. It was like the, the slowest fall. Shh, crunch. When I was on 
when I fell off Stella, I flew into the corner. Right at yeah. my feet. Yeah, that was a, that was a, I don't even know how she just bounced, you guys. If you'd missed that video, you missed one. Like, she literally, Sam put the camera down, and he went to go and save her, and it, in the camera you just see pew sophia flew off of stella like stella was bolting oh so the reason why i'm telling you guys this is because i want to always be that person that shares the fear i'm gonna always share the fear and if sharing the fear makes you feel scared then definitely don't watch because i understand that but if you do feel fear and talking about it and learning through it helps you then stick around because today i'm doing something that i'm so scared about so, you guys know I've been riding in the snow on Penny, and I've been loving it. I find it better to ride on the snow. I like riding on the snow better than on the grass, because in the grass, I'm always worried about potholes. Nobody ever talks about it, but I'm always worried about potholes. But in the snow, everything's more even and more sure somehow. So today, I'm riding on a trail. Storm. I'm riding Storm on the trail, the other barn, with Gabby, who's riding Chino. Today, she said, Mom, I'm riding Chino on a trail, and I was like, well... With who? Are you riding with a friend? She said, no. Well, I'm like, well, you can't go alone. She's like, yeah, Sophia's coming with me. So it was either Sophia or me. So I could have went there and I could have said, Sophia, you're riding with your sister. Get saddled up. But I didn't. I said, I'll do it, Gabby. I, I want to do it. I want to do it. And for the record, that girl that I was talking to this morning, that beautiful, lovely, amazing girl who is going to get there because she wants to get there. Uh, she motivated me. It was talking to her this morning that motivated me and made me feel like I could do it And I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna ride with my daughter on a trail in the snow and this daughter is gonna sit at home <laughs> I'm also scared of crickets. Yeah, I'm afraid of crickets, too. Well, she is eating them <laughs> She is not afraid of crickets. I thought she was afraid of crickets when we first bought her Are you okay? Oh my goodness look at that belly I know, like when I hold her now, she's like so fat. So hold on your hats. We're going. I don't I have to do some work with Penny first and then I'm going. I'm going to ride storm in the winter on a trail, on a road with my daughter, and I wanna bring you guys with us. This my friends is what staring in the face of danger looks like. Do you see them? Oh it would be helpful if you actually moved. Just try it. It's a banana. I wish I was riding my Penny Pickle. I wish I was riding Penny in our arena. That's what my plan was for today. But, Gabby wants to ride. And, it can only be good for me. It can only be good for me. I turned on the light. The light didn't even change. When you're walking in. Hmm, what boot is this? Does this look like my boot? Yes. Just wanna double check and make sure that these are both my boots. That one is my boot. And that one is my boot, I would say. I try not to ever be totally fixed in what I want from life and what I want to do. Woo. Because I feel like being flexible and letting God lead you is so much better than being rigid and only doing things your own way. Not a horse in sight. I hate those days. It's a nice day, like it's not super cold. It's I got bare hands, that doesn't happen very often. Got Stormy Boy's halter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can barely see him, he has a dark green shirt. Yeah, blue, uh, red, oh he has red, right? A oh, plum. is Finn over there too? Yeah. Okay, can you guys see it? I see, I see Finn. <laughs> so, I missed it, but all the whole Gabby's in the in the woods over there, and then all of a sudden Chino and all the rest of them came flying out. Don't get ideas, Stormy Boy. <laughs> Is he hiding from her? Oh no, he's there. He gives in easy every time. Alright, I got big boy here. 
Wait, where is he? Oh, right here. I got him. He's like, what's in your purse? He knows I got stuff in my purse. That's only if you're a good boy today. No shenanigans, no thinking of stuff. He's got thinking eyes. Right here, but it's not fully ripped yet. So this is the indestructible blanket that's not supposed to rip. It's not a full rip yet. Not a full rip yet. Almost a rip. Almost a rip. That's from trees, so. Oh, that's from trees. Probably. You should not have been running through the trees, running away from your owner. All right, we are ready to go. Gabby's getting me already. I appreciate it. If I want to ride on a trail with anybody, it's going to be Gabby because one, Gabby will always like look back, support me, make sure I'm okay, and and. Two, if anything ever happened, she'd always be like she's always in control I'm and go for the horse first. Yeah, that's leave okay. She's gonna go for the horse first and leave me stranded. Mm -hmm. But I know that she would rush back and and save me too. Basically, she's not an overreactor. But also you guys I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. It's easier because the straps are just horrible. Like the billets. Storm, He's starting to get cuts all up his neck again. Do you guys remember before when he was a part of a big herd and his neck was all cut up? Do you guys see it? All these are scars. All right, I gotta find my gloves. I've lost my gloves. And there, my friends, is an upside down heart. Okay, all right, here we go. I got horse hair all over my face. We're doing it, I can't find my mitts. I don't know what I did with them. I can't live without mitts. Oh, thank goodness the car's back. Hopefully the stirrups didn't uh, bang on the door. Okay, so two amazing things happened here. One, I wasn't really, I wasn't really scared. I knew I wasn't going to be able to manage him. That's a given. I'm glad I got off because when Gabby went away the second time, he started rearing and freaking out. And so I feel like I made the right choice. But the other thing that's worth noting is that I've been writing that I don't scream in my notebook. I didn't scream. I was calm, mostly. We are home and I think Gabby's gone to the shower. Everybody, as soon as we get home, everybody rushes to go to the bathroom. Somebody wanted me to do a video with little Mr. Toby in it. So here he is. Here he is. He looks like a little sausage right now. Toby. His main love of life is Molly. Toby, say hi. People be missing you. People be missing you. He's such a cute baby. The other day he was walking around on the floor and I looked at him and, he, and I realized that he truly does look like a little rat. He's barely bigger than a rat, you guys. He just went out and had a pee and now he's frozen. A farm dog, he is not. Right? A farm dog, you are not. Hi guys, it's five o'clock and it's time to put the horses in. You know what I like about spring? Is you get more daylight. After the winter solstice, the days get longer and usually by now it will be dark out. It's nice out. It's really nice out. It's windy and cold though. And Penny's waiting for me. Penny's always waiting for me, aren't you Penny? Are you waiting for me? You want to come in? No. They're the kitties. Oh. <laughs> kitties climbing the trees. And Penny's looking at the cat going, what are you doing bugging me? Now it's cold in the barn when the ice buckets are frozen. I didn't empty the water this morning, which I usually do during chores, but I didn't do it and now all the buckets are frozen. So I'll have to replace them with other buckets. So I'll put them out of the way till the horses get in and give them fresh water. This is Willow's bucket. You know the difference between two buckets? She likes to soak her hay in the water all the time. Every single day she throws hay in the, her water. Comment below if you have a horse that does that. Likes to eat watery hay. Come on, Willow, get in your crib. No, 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 
it up and open. Holy jeez. Okay, Penny. Slow, slow, slow. Gracie, what were you thinking? All right, Pen. You can eat now. You can eat. Gracie was trying to pull a fast one on me and tried to go in the penny stall instead, and she never does that. Never. It's probably because I was holding on to the camera and she thought she could get away with it. I usually put my hand there when I, when I bring them in, I put my hands out like I'm blocking them from going anywhere. And because I had the ha camera in my hand, she decided to go to penny stall instead. But I stopped her. Orders are eating their dinner, I'm gonna fill up their water. And I'm gonna end today's vlog. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just